Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about the power of Amazon Web Services and how we can leverage the infrastructure provided by Amazon Web Services so that we can run our load test. And essentially, what we are getting, we are getting a load generator. Here, in the, in the next two videos, I'm going to explain you how to do that using load runner controller the first thing is that we, we need to we need to fulfill all the prerequisites mentioned here okay and some of these prerequisites are optional so let's go through this and this is to create an aws account we must have an aws account then you create a security group after you have an aws account so once you have created an aws account log in to AWS and go to the EC2 dashboard and in EC2 dashboard you go to the security group and in the security group you create a new security group and let's say let's call that security group as load runner and then we add a role and in that role we need to ensure that we are opening the port 54345 and I have already explained you why you need to open port 54345 okay and let's open this port 54345 and open to everybody right so therefore i give 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0 0.0.0.0 and let's create it okay we have to give some description let's i just give some description like this and create and now i have my security group and the group name is load runner okay so this is what the step is okay so now we have created a security group then we need to create a key pair the reason behind creating key pair and and notice that this is an optional this is optional and but i will highly recommend to do this because using the key pair we can connect to the machine on amazon ec2 all right and to create a key pair you go here key pairs and you create a new key pair and let's call that key pair as lr underscore key okay and and the moment you create lr underscore key notice that you got a pem file and using this pem file you need to create a ppk file okay so basically when you create an access key if the access key name you give something lr then it will generate a lr.pem and from lr.pem using a tool called putigen putigen what you can do you can generate a private key and let's say that private key name is lr.ppk okay and why you need this thing you need this private key so that you can connect to the machine from a uh, like you know, from a from a remote client like uh, potty or you can connect through the uh, in if it's a windows machine you can connect through the remote desktop okay so i'm not going to explain you in detail in this video but however i will create a new video or i will point to you other videos how to create a key pair and then how to use key pair to connect to a machine and the next thing is create an access key and the access key is something like remember the way it's going to happen is that this is your load runner controller let's say this is the load runner controller and load runner controller is going to give some command to the amazon web services ec2 service okay so this is amazon web services ec2 services so what is going to happen is that load runner controller is going to give the command to amazon ec2 services on behalf of your account notice that load runner controller is not going to log in the way you log in in this and then you create a new instance it's not going to happen that way instead you know amazon aws has exposed different kinds of services and load runner controller is going to give through command line you know all those commands necessary to spawn a new instance for you all right so to do that the load runner controller needs to know your access key okay or sometimes it is called the api key okay and i'm showing you how to get your api key all right so go to your account here 
and go to my security credential. In the security credential, you will see there is something access key here and here this is the access key ID. But to get the access key ID secret, you have to go to this link. and go, go down and here you see the so the, so the secret so you got the secret key okay so essentially what I have done I have got the access key and access secret key I have kept it here okay so that is what is this step is say to create the access key the next step is to create certificate and to create certificate what you need to do you just need to run this gen underscore ca underscore sort dot exe, exe and this gen underscore ca dot sort dot exe should be available on your load runner installation okay if you go to the c program file load runner slash bin then you should get this thing then what i'm saying is that just run this command whatever i'm giving here okay and i'll give you a note here you know in, in my video you know in down below there should be a note session in the note section i will mention all this thing okay so using this thing you can create a certificate and once you run this run this command it will generate two cer file csart.cr private.cer and what i have done i have kept those files in my look in my local directory okay and this is this, you, you need this thing because load runner controller is going to talk to the Amazon EC2 instance through an SSL protocol and for that we need these certificates okay then then another thing is that if your load runner controller is behind a firewall then in that case you need to connect to the Amazon EC2 or any outside services using a proxy server and I unfortunately and I am working from my home and I have directly I'm, I'm able to directly connect to internet so therefore I do not have any proxy server access right now so therefore I will I will I will ignore this step however if you are inside your you know office firewall then you have to configure the proxy server so what I'm going to recommend you that you take a look at this document that uh, you know this document uh, was written by the uh, R&D uh, you know uh, load runner R&D persons and uh, this is given give a step by step instruction and if you go down so they have given you how to configure your proxy server it's a very simple option in 443 and you know you have to uh, basically open it up okay so with this we have all the prerequisites met and we have done everything. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, provision a load generator. Thank you.